Hey everyone, welcome back. Today's video is gonna be about installing a LED light bar for the bumper, guys. And um, what we ended up getting is, we got this, I don't know how to pronounce this, but Yimoto is what it's called. Uh, 18 inch light bar on Amazon. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what it looks like inside, guys. Ah, uh, there we go. Got some instructions here. Let's see what we got. So far, so good. Looks like it's a two wire. It's got the two bolts on the bottom, looks like. And then we got some cracker tree right here. Doesn't seem too bad. We also ordered this uh, wiring harness. And I think this was about $15. Let's see what we got in here. And this is ox beam. Nice little wiring harness kit. Comes with the toggle switch. Looks like it's got a built-in relay. So that doesn't seem too bad. And then uh, we picked this up from Super ATV. And this is supposed to plug into the bus bar. So today we're going to try and, and see how this works. Um, I think the instructions probably have you mounted up to a battery. But we want to try this today, guys. So um, we're going to go ahead and... And get this ready and uh, we'll be right back all right we're back um, what we did is we mounted it to the bumper here you just have two brackets right here that come with the kit and then you guys saw those screws that were in the back right here they just mount to the back of that bracket guys and uh, that's how you mount that the wires we just came out right here um, I just wanted to show you how, you how we ran it. We pretty much ran it just like we did the winch. We started here and we went all the way over here behind the plate and then we came up over here and uh, we still got to attach it but uh, we're going to come up just like we went for the winch. So we're going to come straight up through the hole all the way up to the top. and. Uh, we mounted the relay right here, just the bolt I had laying around. We just uh, screwed it in there. Um, and then we use this uh, accessory relay. And the way this works, guys, is the top is the ground. The middle wire is the key hot. So if you want your light to shut off when the key shuts off, these are two wires you're gonna use. If you want it to be constant, so if you have the vehicle off, the key off, you would hook this wire to this wire and then it would be constant power. Um, so then we went ahead and we ran the rocker switch through here and let's go around here. And uh, basically it just clips together right here and then we just cut it out and we put it right there. So um, it was pretty simple. Um, we still got to do some other stuff to it, but I wanted to show you guys how we wired it up. And uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up and put it back together. And then we'll do the test and see how bright it is. We'll be right back. All right, we are back. We got this all wrapped up. Um, wiring came out pretty good. We got the fuse relay in here um, and the fuse. This is all taped up. We also use that uh, liquid electric tape. Um, it's all wrapped up down here. We got it zip tied right there to the bumper. That way if we ever got to take the bumper off, we can just snip that and come right off. So let's go ahead. I'm, I'm really excited to see what this is going to look like. And let's put this on. And uh, we'll take it outside. And uh, hopefully everything works out 
excited. Can't wait to see what this looks like, Mike. I know. Put your jacket on. It's pretty cold out, guys. It's uh, it's like 17 degrees out right now. Good old Ohio weather. Yeah. So let's go ahead and open this door. Turn the lights on until we get outside. Get the full effect. Ooh, it's chilly. Alright, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. That's bright. Let me close this garage door. Oh. Wow. That's just the bar. That's not the headlights. So let's go ahead and put the headlights on. Wow. Oh yeah. Look how bright that is. Is that a big difference? Go in the front so they can see the front. Oh yeah. Does it look bright? Very bright. I mean, we're lighting up the whole driveway. Alright, go ahead and get in. Let's go for a ride. I think we're going to go up to the field and see what it looks like. Oh yeah. Go. Ready? Yep. Wow, look at that. That's amazing. It is lighting up the whole yard. Let's wait till we get to the open area. What do you think? Oh, it's bright. Snow rip, what do you think? Woohoo! and sliding everywhere. Performance mode, four wheel drive. Let's get the speed on there, there we go. here at the garage uh, we're thawing out it was pretty cold out there guys um, you were cold yeah <laughs> you didn't have any gloves on you forgot to put your gloves on yeah exactly so um, I think all in all I mean for 29 bucks for this LED bar it's 108 watts uh, I think the lighting was 6k white and um, we got this aux beam LED light bar wiring harness 
and this was I think 15 bucks so we got about 50 bucks wrapped into this with shipping and man I couldn't be happier I mean this is almost as much uh, this is almost as good as the uh, LED headlights we put in um, it took about an hour to put it in so it wasn't too bad I mean like I said we're just taking our time you know having fun and and um, so it's not bad at all so I got all this stuff on Amazon um, you guys can just look it up it is a I don't know how I'm gonna pronounce this right Yeedy motor 18 inch LED light and then the ox beam uh, LED bar wire uh, LED light bar wiring harness um, so look it up on Amazon you're gonna have about 45 bucks into it and as you guys can see from the footage um, I mean we lit up that whole field up there and uh, we did a little snow ripping but uh, it was a lot of fun um, if you guys like this kind of stuff if you're new to the channel please make sure you hit that subscribe button and like um, if you already a subscriber just make sure you guys hit that notification bell that way you guys don't miss another video i'll see you on the next one